Hello, welcome back to a new video. Today we are with the Jeep Avenger, the new electric SUV from Jeep. And I want to show you how to connect your iPhone to the new multimedia system. It's actually the same multimedia system as the Lantis use it also on other cars like Peugeot. It's super, super simple. All you have to do is just go to your phone, open the Bluetooth. Yes, first you open the Bluetooth. Then you go to application drawer, go to mirror screen go to connect device and now here it should show you all the nearby devices and because we are in an auto show we can see there are a lot and wait a few seconds until uh, the car will see mine so you have to wait a little bit until it will appear right here and if we go to mine right here you wait a few seconds it will search for devices search 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 until it find uh, the car and let me go here you can see right now it's still searching for devices and mine is not yet here so you should wait a little bit i like the fact that here is not a glassy and you can leave your phone up here this is also super super cool i like that very much now come on where is my phone why it doesn't want to connect just wait, maybe I should close the Bluetooth and then turn on again, right now, turn it on, and let's see right now, search for device, maybe you will find it, just need a little bit of time right here. A little bit earlier I tried it and it was fine, I mean it was connected quite quite fast. Connect device, let's try again, my other Okay, you can see right here that vehicle is now visible, my other, and also the multimedia sees my phone. So, dance iPhone. Then once you press it, you can see right now, uh, you wait a few seconds, and also on the screen, it try to connect there, it try to connect to my phone. And right now, no device responded. So if that happened, you have another choice here. The car is this my other PJK. You press this one, my other PJK, and now it's trying. The phone is trying to connect to the car, and now it's working. And then you can see it asks you here to pair, and then Dan's iPhone. Yes, confirm the code, and also here allo. It's hard to do that with one hand. It's trying to connect right now in this moment. Now it's telephone streaming. Just wait a few seconds. It asks you, you want to use Apple CarPlay? We use Apple CarPlay. Start Apple CarPlay. And right now it's connected to the Apple CarPlay. And you just wait a few seconds. You don't need any cable. You can do it with a cable, but also you don't need any cable. And then it will stay connected forever. I mean, if, if you go inside the car, you will be connected. Look at it. You can, you can leave the, your phone here on the side. And right now it's connected to the Apple CarPlay. And you can see it's all over the screen. I like that very much. And also it's very easy uh, and also very responsive. I tried before and it's super, super responsive. It's super visible from the driver point of view. And you have all the application, WhatsApp, Zoom, Telegram, Spotify, uh, Maps, whatever apps you have on your phone, you will see it here. You can use also the map right here. For example, this is the map from the phone, uh, from the iPhone. But if you don't use this, if you don't want to use this, you can go to Google map and you can use google map but even though i want to show you something super cool even though if you go here to the voice command on the steering wheel you can press it for three seconds navigate to barcelona to do that you'll need to be online wait wait i'm online why you say i'm not online ah my phone is not online let me turn on the internet Turn on the internet and right now with wireless it doesn't work. You have to be connected to mobile. Now it's working. Three seconds. Navigate to Barcelona. Getting directions to Barcelona, Spain. You know that why it doesn't work because my phone doesn't have internet. It has internet, it has wireless, but that doesn't have mobile. You have to have mobile uh, and then starting route to Barcelona. It's just that simple, it's crazy it's simple. And if you ask on the screen you can see only the directions you know and it shows you a nice uh, icon here that shows it's connected to Apple CarPlay but you don't see the map so that's something to keep in mind guys so good this is a uh, this is a cool uh, very very cool and easy 
way to have all the application that you want from your phone right here and also you can you can ask another questions you know like you can play you can speak with Siri like how many degrees are outside today the high today will be 12 degrees Celsius and the low will be 5 degrees Celsius cool so you can see guys how easy it is to connect it how responsive it is if you want to go back to the multimedia system of the car you just press this a button down here it's a home button and then you're back to multimedia of the car and if you want to go back to Apple CarPlay you just press this Apple CarPlay or mirror and then you're back there and then you're back here is that simple super simple so this is how easy it is to connect your uh, Apple you have also the icon up here if you press it you go immediately there so this is how easy it is to connect I hope the video was useful uh, if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask thank you very much for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and I guess I see you soon in the next one bye guys